Hey friends, welcome to the Swing My Heart podcast with your host, Nicole and Hannah. Come join us for some hopeful conversations about heartfelt entertainment that makes your heart swing. Hey Hallmarkies, we're back and today we will be chatting about the Hallmark Channel original movie, Three Wise Men and a Baby. Starring Andrew Walker as Luke Brenner, Tyler Hines as Taylor Brenner, Paul Campbell as Stefan Brenner, Margaret Collin as Barbara Brenner, Allie Liebert as Fiona, Fiona Vroom as Susie, Matt Hamilton as Mark LaClark, Jill Teed as Louise, Jeff Gustafson as David, Chris Gauthier as Kevin, Danny Watley as Chief McKinley, and Preston Vanderslice as Christian. Now for the postables out there, we have three appearances by SSD cast. Of course, Jeff as Norman, Jill Teed, who played Oliver's lawyer in Truth Be Told, and Chris Gauthier, who played Norman's cousin, Serge. <laughs> yes, and, that's right. Yes. And we know Preston Vanderslice from Mystery 101. It was directed by Terry Ingram and written by Paul Campbell and Kimberly Sustad. Three brothers get the surprise of their lives when they are forced to work together and care for a baby over the holidays. What did you love most about this movie, Hannah? Well, first of all, we have three amazing leading men playing brothers. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love Andrew Walker and Tyler Hines together? And then when you add Paul Campbell into the mix, you know it's going to be a great movie. And it was. These three did not disappoint. Nope. They were fantastic on screen and all the behind the scenes. Mm, Yeah. Amazing as well. Yeah. And Kimberly Sustad also did an amazing job writing Mm -hmm. this with Paul Campbell. Yes, she did. And I loved that cameo that we saw from her in the movie, which we'll talk about. Yes, definitely. The first scene right out of the gate that had me laughing was Luke's pep talk to himself in the mirror. (laughs) And he says, hello, handsome. You are strong, capable, a warrior. There is no obstacle you can't overcome. No mountain you can't climb. Lucas James Brenner, you are... And then his mom interrupts. I mean, of course, we have to start the movie with a shirtless scene. And of course, it's Andrew. <laughs> oh, oh, that was pretty, that was good. That was pretty funny. And Andrew pulled that off well. Yeah. And I have to mention, it was pretty awesome how Margaret Collin, who played Barbara, the mom, she was mm-hmm. in the original Three Men and a Baby movie. Right. That's right. I heard about that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I've never seen the original, but I've heard it's great. Yeah, I haven't either. So I, I wouldn't know who she played in that movie, but it is pretty yeah. cool that they were able to get an original cast member from the original movie. So that's pretty cool. This next scene had me laughing as well. And it's when Taylor had just gotten fired from his job and he's on the way home and he sees Mark. And Mark says, nice flower. Does it come with a walker and some fuzzy slipper? Right, right. Taylor, nice flower. Clark, yep. Did it come with an unearned sense of self-confidence? No, it came with a snowmobile. Cool, you got a bulb out. Not talking about your lights. First of all, Tyler as Taylor. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Perfect actor for that role. And then Mark LeClark, the neighbor. So funny. Yes. Oh, what did you think about the scene when Luke is having a conversation with his fellow firefighters and the woman, she says, 911 emergency hunk line. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, of course they would put that in there. Of course. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Hunks of Hallmark. I see what I see what they're doing there. Yeah. I see it. See what you did there. Yep. Yep. Great. That was great. And then just a humble civil servant bringing joy to the attractive women of Spruce Grove. Yeah. I was gonna say, I think Luke is definitely 
more of a humble yes character yeah for sure which i i also thought that was a perfect cast for andrew in that I, role because yeah, i agree I, I think that that definitely mirrors who he is in real life so yeah. i think that's pretty cool mm -hmm. yeah. this is one of my favorite scenes in the movie and it is the morning after luke finds thomas and taylor walks in and he says do you have a baby how long was i asleep Stefan? who has a baby taylor luke's got a baby Stefan. <gasps> I'm an uncle. Taylor, congratulations, Stefan. Well, isn't this shaping up to be an unexpected Christmas? How did that okay. even happen? Can I just interrupt here for a second? Yeah. When Stefan says unexpected Christmas, did you think of Tyler's movie, yes. Unexpected Christmas? I was like, that had to be intentional. <laughs> it's so yes. funny. That was definitely an intentional. <laughs> yes. That's funny. Yes. That's funny. Uh, that one. Well, you see, Stefan, when two people love each other very much. <laughs> Those two. Oh my I'm goodness. telling you, they're, they're children. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, this next scene, Taylor talking to Thomas in the game room. This was comedic gold, gold from gold. Tyler. Gold, oh yes. That was fantastic. I love it. So you're a baby. That's cool. How's that going? What do babies do? They do probably what you're doing right now. And then, you know, he asks if yeah. Thomas likes music. And he starts <laughs> playing with the drumsticks. And then the magic trick with the snacks. He just yeah. like <laughs> the tosses snacks it behind him. <laughs> and then him trying to get thomas to play the video game and he starts to put the headphones on and he's thomas like oh i see trying. you're a gamer you're a gamer <laughs> he's yeah. like oh yeah do you game are you a gamer yeah yeah my man now you're my man my oh yeah <laughs> oh you don't like that i'm so sorry what have i done turned yeah. on me quick pal oh yeah that was so funny oh. tyler talking to a baby and then yeah. Of course, it's a gamer. That's so funny. Yeah. It. And then his comedic gold continues with the scene when he gets to the store and he's like, oh my. Oh, oh, my gosh. oh my gosh. I don't know how those guys were able to keep a straight face during these scenes. I mean, we've seen some of the behind the scenes stuff and heard some of the stories, yeah. but I mean, you know, the final scenes they put in the movie just to see, you know, I, I don't know how they kept a straight face. And I know there was a few times in the movie where you could see them breaking character for a second, but I don't think I ever saw Tyler break character. And I don't know how in the world, I don't know how he could keep a straight face because his character is so funny. Yeah. So funny. You know, and then we get that line that we saw in the preview when he is talking to the woman and mm -hmm. he said, we may have to evacuate. <laughs> to evacuate. <the> <laughs> Like, okay, Taylor, how dramatic are we here? <laughs> and he's like holding the baby for me. And then he talks about how he has to buy everything in the store. He's yeah. Buy everything. <laughs> yeah. So what is one of your next favorite scenes in the movie? Well, I mean, I think we have to talk about Stefan at Susie's house. Yeah, that was funny. That scene was hilarious. Yeah. Can we just talk about the so sue me line? for a minute oh yeah when Stefan yeah. is talking to Susie and Susie's kind of explaining about you know her business and stuff I think he asked her like what the name of her company is and she mm -hmm. says so sue me and he yeah. takes her literally like she's gonna sue him <laughs> yeah so funny yeah so funny because she's a seamstress and her name is Susie so Sue yeah, yeah. I just think that I just think that was just gold yeah. like the, the pun so yes. good I yes. love the puns I also love when Susie is asking Stefan where she should be during his session with her puppy because he's a pet therapist and mm -hmm. you know she keeps stepping farther and farther back and on the last time she's you know saying something like what about here and he says more like in the next house <laughs> I know that was so funny too I I mean Come on. I mean, I gotta give it to the girl. I mean, she's trying. She obviously really likes Stefan and poor yeah. Stefan 
you know, he's not a people person whatsoever. He's just trying to get his job done because he's a pet therapist, Mm -hmm. not a people person. And there she is kind of up in his face, you know, wanting to be right there. And I just think the way that he handles it is so funny. Yeah. And the way she just brilliantly, you know, just kind of, you know, takes a little bit step further. And she's like, is this good enough? And she's, she's yeah. like practically in the next room. And he's like, no, how about the next house? And then she yeah. immediately goes out the door and is like, starts knocking on the window. I was like, okay, that's great. I love it. Yes, I do too. These, these two, these two are, are meant to be yeah. together. They're, they're, they're complete opposites, but they, they yeah. mesh so well, I think, in the funniest way possible. Yeah. And I can even tell in that first scene that we see of them together when she comes to his house with the food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That was funny. That was funny. I don't have it in my notes, but I do remember there was one scene early on in the movie after Taylor had just gotten fired and Taylor was having dinner with his mom and then Stefan comes in and they're talking about Stefan living in the backyard (laughs) that was a great conversation too oh my gosh yeah they're all like literally talking about taylor lives in the basement stefan lives you know on the property still and he's and he's saying no like he's kind of has the attitude no i'm a man i don't live at home anymore but yeah he he still lives on the property (laughs) come on (laughs) yes okay buddy yes you do have your own place we get it okay good for you (laughs) I love how these are t- how these are two grown men, but yet they act still act like such children. It's so funny. So yeah. funny. Yes. And speaking of another scene with Stefan and Taylor, mm-hmm. Taylor has just come back from his shopping excursion. Mm-hmm. Or excursions. Mm-hmm. And you know, Stefan walks in and he opens the refrigerator I think to get orange juice or something and then he closes it and he says jeepers you look possessed I was not expecting that I was like wait what (laughs) what did he just say it reminds me of that song from way back I don't remember what year it came out but I remember hearing it as a kid he was like jeepers creepers (laughs) yep yep I know what you're talking about (laughs) I do (laughs) And then Taylor says, you have no idea what I've seen today. Been sneezed on, cried on, spit up on, as well as several other things that I don't care to relive. I was extorted by a 10-year-old, escorted out of two different stores, accused wrongfully of theft. And then Stefan is like, okay, it's been like two hours. Right. Okay, am I the only one who wants to see like that happen? I like, where are the scenes where he's getting thrown out of the store? <laughs> like, I would have loved to see that. <laughs> but but I can picture it. I can definitely picture it. Yeah. <laughs> Some deleted scenes and bloopers were shown at Rama Drama Christmas. They were. They were. Yeah. Yes. I was able to, I was able to watch those after the fact. And um, unfortunately, I still didn't see any of those scenes, but those are really great. And they were published online. So people should check those yeah. out. This scene. The comedy with Taylor and Stefan continues when they work together to try and bathe Thomas. Oh my gosh. So funny. And Taylor squirts Stefan with the sink. You can't you cannot have a bathing a baby scene without a little bit of, you know, play with the with the host. Oh, there's <laughs> spray. Yeah. yeah. So funny. Taylor and Stefan, they eventually get Thomas to sleep and Taylor says, do not not move. move. And then Luke comes in. And then of course, of course, because as usually happens in a movie, whenever something's about to happen or someone falls asleep or something like that, of course, there's always an interruption that ruins it. Yeah. This scene, (laughs) comedy gold this this is my this is takes the cake for me this is my favorite scene of the whole movie I think just because of how hilarious it is Luke says I had a a thing Taylor oh you had a thing he had a thing 
Stefan. He had a thing. Taylor. Interesting. What was her name? What? And then Taylor <laughs> starts doing the squats while holding Thomas. I love that. That was so funny. And then, I mean, I have to talk about some of the dialogue here, but the when cat, Taylor, the, yes, cat the cat comment, I was like, okay, he didn't. He Luke did said, not just say that. No. Yeah. Luke just said, they're usually just annoying cat gifs. Taylor, how dare you? Those are absolutely adorable. Don't let him get to you. And this is when he takes, he grabs seven. his hand. That's my favorite scene. That part, when he grabs his hand and starts doing the squats, I'm like, okay, all right. And Luke is just like, okay, why don't you two take a breather before you, I don't know, you evap- evaporate. evaporate. <laughs> it's just the baby. And then we see the iconic line in, in the trailer. It's just a baby. Trailer, yeah. It's just a baby. It's a baby. They just both look at each other. And then Luke's like, ridiculous, and like yeah. walks away with the baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love how in that scene after the cat gif line or the cat gif line, I say it like gif, not gif, but it is gif. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay. but I know a lot of people say gif too. It's, it's okay. okay. I love how you can see that Paul is about to break character and just bust out laughing. He does for a second. You see him smile. You see him smile at some point during the, real briefly but he does and they left it in there and I was like that's that's hilarious that's funny <laughs> I would not have been able to keep a straight face in that scene no no not at all me neither oh this next scene when Luke is holding Thomas and he's singing jingle bells and making the Christmas cookies and Taylor comes in and he says are you baking and singing Stefan what's happening here did you bake did he bake did you bake why aren't they burnt? Why isn't the baby crying? Why aren't you crying? <laughs> and I love how assured of himself Luke is. He's just like, oh, I got this, boys. Yeah. Like, it, I mean, come on. It's just, I'm just yeah. baking and holding a baby. No big deal. Yes. I'm fine. We're good. Yeah. And Carry then he on. goes on to say that he's already given Thomas yep. a diaper change. Yep. Fed him, burped him. Yep. That is funny. Bathed him. <laughs> And then one of the best lines in that scene is when Luke says, Uncle Luke's got this. And then Taylor takes the cookie. I mean, come on, it's Tyler. When is he not eating in a movie? Like, come on. Yeah. And then, of course, at this point, we know that Luke has put together the baby swing. Right, exactly. And we got to go back. We have to talk about that baby swing moment too oh my where goodness. taylor's trying to put together the swing and he's holding all the parts in his arms oh yeah and yeah. stefan finally picks up the instructions and it's upside down and he's trying to read it and, yeah and 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 taylor says something like don't you have a degree yeah <laughs> It's so funny. So, so funny. And then finally, oh, you know, and then he finally realizes that it's up there. He's like, oh, he turns it around and Taylor yeah. just drops everything. He's like, are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> you oh, should know this. God. You have a degree. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. This scene had me cracking up. And it is when Luke finds out from Stefan that he brought the wrong baby back home. Oh, my gosh. I was like, everything was going so well for Luke too until that one scene where, of course, there just happened to be another baby sat down right behind him with a blanket that's like exactly the same. Like, Like, of course, but like, why wouldn't you check the baby when you put him in the car? (laughs) Like, come on, dude. I don't know. (laughs) So funny. Yeah. But we have to go back again too. We also missed the part where. Um, Stefan asked Taylor if he bought adult diapers. Oh, yeah. I didn't mention that. <laughs> that, that was funny, too. I, I just had to mention that. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. And Stefan was just like, oh, my gosh. What have you done? <laughs> That's why we're having to change it so many times. Right, right, right. That's funny. But no, back to the um, Luke 
getting the wrong baby. I love the dialogue there when he first brings him. I think Luke said something to the effect of like, it's not like like I like got the wrong baby or something. I don't remember what he said exactly. Yeah. But he says something to the effect, I'm like, yeah, because you actually did. And I thought that was funny because he, yeah. he basically, you know, said it before they looked and like, nope, mm-hmm. it's not the right baby. I think Stefan said something along the lines of, no, this really is the wrong baby. Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. That was funny. But seriously, that baby looked terrified. Like the way his eyes got so in the hair sticking straight up. I was like, that just made it even better. <laughs> he's like petrified like what did you do to me yeah, like, who like are where you? is my mother I'm yeah my mother. yeah and then I love when they show that little brief scene where Luke is exchanging like Luke just finally got Thomas back and he's talking to the police officer and he's like I'm sure this happens all the time and he's trying to make a joke and the police yeah. officer is like no this would be a first this would be a first and, and, and he's like oh <laughs> like okay yeah. no Oh, yeah. oops my bad <laughs> I think this is a really nice moment in the movie and it is Stefan's short little speech to Luke and Taylor about working together to take care of Thomas mm-hmm. and you know he says something to the effect of you know none of us have done what we need to do to take care of Thomas mm-hmm. right I think this is around the time too when this was such a Andrew Tyler moment too Mm -hmm. like come on like they're they're cousins in real life practically brothers and (laughs) and they and they get into a verbal argument and then of course like I think yeah they they poke each other in the face and then Andrew grabs Tyler around and like he grabs him and like I'm just like that was hilarious I was like those two must have had so much fun Mm -hmm. filming that scene that was really funny yeah the scene at the Christmas market mm-hmm. and they see Fiona and her niece and Taylor offers yes. love. That was nice. That was really sweet at the ice skating rink. Yeah. Yeah. That was I wish that we was had seen moment. the deleted scene from the ice rink. That was a good scene because I, I saw that after the fact somebody had posted it. And yeah. I was like, why isn't this in the original? I saw that it's like an international scene. So I, I think they so. included it in like the international version, but like, why didn't they include that on the Hallmark release? Like it's, that was such a great comedy yeah. gold yeah. scene. Yeah. Really good. Terry, we need a director's cut of this movie, please. If you're listening. Please, please. And the elf costumes. I cannot go without mentioning the elf costumes in this recap. So funny. Yes. <laughs> they pull those off pretty well. And, and of then, course they had to have that red carpet scene. The dramatic yeah. walk in with the baby. So funny. That was great. Yeah. This is another favorite moment and it's when Luke, Taylor, and Stefan are at home and they're by the fire putting Thomas to bed. That was a really sweet scene. Yeah. They're all laying there like that's such like a I feel like that's really a bonding moment. For all of yeah. them, they're like brothers and they, they probably haven't really had a sleepover like that since they were kids. And yeah. to see them, you know, all like laying there together, close together mm-hmm. with the baby, like, I, yeah, that was such like a really a sweet brotherly moment. Yeah, I, think. I agree. The tree hunting. Stefan's lawn. <laughs> fur, the noble fur, my noble sirs, is the noblest of noble, for sure. <laughs> And I love how Taylor later on steals that line from him. Yeah. And I think he says it when Susie's around and Susie's so impressed. And Stefan looks at him and he's like, come on. Like he just gives him like, come on, that was my line. (laughs) Yeah. That was funny. That was funny. That's a little bit later on, but I love how that comes back. This scene when they are going to decorate the house for the contest and Taylor dresses (laughs) his night. And he's like, medieval Christmas. (laughs) Tyler pulls off that helmet really well. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then of course Fiona has to knock at the on the door at that point and he comes out in a night costume. Yeah. And Fiona just looks at him like, what in the world? Like, I'm not even gonna mean? ask. I know, like what in the world. <laughs> yes. I can't with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is probably in my top two favorite scenes in this movie. And it is the 
now iconic dance routine. Oh, yes. The tree. (laughs) That was gold. And now after the fact, now that I see um, all the videos that were posted of the behind the scenes from Tyler's phone of the guys practicing that routine. Oh, my gosh. So funny. And I have to say that was a good call because Paul was the one who came up with the tree idea. And I think that was a good that was a good call there. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. That was just that was perfect. Oh, yes. So funny. That was that was great. Yeah, Yeah. that was perfection. Oh, yeah. I'll give that one a 12 out of 10. A 12 out of 10. Yeah. I do like this scene when Adam has a conversation with Luke about his dad and his dad was a firefighter that yeah died in the line of duty Mm -hmm. that was a really sweet scene I like because most of this movie is filled with like a lot of comedy but I really like where they get to those moments down to the heart of it and they Mm -hmm. they go a little bit deep and we see that with the brothers too later on which is another one of my favorite scenes but it was nice to see Luke you know have this moment to be there for the late firefighter's son and to kind of encourage him and show him that he's not alone yeah and I think it gave Luke some perspective too I think so too I love how Luke was honored with an award for his service that Mm -hmm. was really nice and then of course he gets the phone call yeah um Stefan about Thomas so he has to leave of course like right as he's starting his speech I know of course, as they do in these movies, something always comes up. Yeah. But um, going back to when Stefan first sees that, you know, Thomas has a rash and he freaks out. He freaks I mean, out, yeah. I got to feel a little bad for the guy. Like, he has no yeah. idea. You know, he's not familiar with this. So, of course, yeah. he's going to, he decides to take him to the hospital. Yeah, I think he did the right on. thing. Yeah, I think so, too. I have to mention Kimberly's cameo which we briefly talked about at the very beginning that was awesome yes that was so great I I was like waiting the whole movie to see when Kimberly would show up because I was like I need to see Kimberly like she's got to be in here somewhere and then we finally see her and I gotta say I would have liked to see more of her like come on also that line that she said to Thomas right you can't write this stuff this stuff (laughs) that was brilliant I was like of course because you you did write it (laughs) that was was awesome yeah that was funny you know when she was asking who the father is and Stefan and Taylor just kind of like step step back back. like not us not us (laughs) and Luke's just you know like yeah okay yeah 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 thanks guys yep Thanks for the support. <laughs> I love the scene with Luke Taylor and Stefan with Thomas when they get back home and they're talking about working things out and promising to work together to take care yes. of them. Yes. I definitely love the scene in the van where they're all talking and um, this is kind of after, you know, Luke kind of gets a little frustrated with the mm-hmm. boys, I think, especially Taylor yeah. because, you know, things aren't going right and Taylor just thinks Luke's being selfish like because you know he's off working and he was having him and Taylor and Stefan take care of the baby for a lot of the time and so he's just getting really frustrated and stuff and Luke just kind of lashes out just a little bit just says like you know he never does anything for himself it's always about other people and I love how they're in the car and Luke's finally like apologizing and says like you know like he shouldn't have said that But then, you know, Taylor starts saying how, like, no, like, he's right. Like, you know, like, I am the one that, like, I do make a mess of things. You know, I don't take the, I'm, I'm not the responsible guy I should be kind of thing. And, and I like how, you know, Stefan starts saying how, like, yeah. And I think it's because like, you know, like we didn't have a father and they were kind of like all, you know, kind of saying how, like, they're just realizing that taking care of Thomas has made them realize all the stuff that, you know, yeah. they've been going through themselves because of their lack of a father. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, I really felt that conversation. I think it really hits home and just to see, you know, how much it does affect you if you don't, if you grow up without a dad and just yeah. like, you know, 
being raised by a single mom and how much stuff she has to do and then how much you know really Luke had to step up and kind of take that place for his brothers yeah. of their father and yeah. so I I really love that I, I I mean I feel like that scene really got to the heart of like all the boys and you really see their heart there and you really yeah. see you know kind of what they're struggling with yeah the spirit of Christmas decoration contest we see the fire truck arrive with the star of Bethlehem on the front Mm -hmm. and then the performance as the three wise men that was awesome that was so funny yeah first of all again Tyler's costume yeah (laughs) so funny yeah so good all the all three of them look so fantastic in those costumes, yeah. but there's just something about Tyler's like yes. that look was just, that was just so funny. Yeah. But to just see, you know, like how unprepared these guys were when it mm-hmm. finally got to their performance, they weren't expecting it. <laughs> and it no. was so funny. Yeah. So funny. Yeah. I have to mention that line from the woman who is reporting on the Mm -hmm. contest and she says out of the dark to challenge LeClark will they miss the mark or hit it out of the park (laughs) that was good that was that was brilliant on the spot it was that was it was it was definitely I would not be able to come up with something that Mm -hmm. good that fast me neither I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, this is what Stefan did too. I mean, you know, when his brothers were talking, they were struggling a bit. Stefan just, you know, stepped out of his comfort zone and he just went for it. I mean, he did a good job considering, you know, those boys were not prepared at all. No. (laughs) They just, they just winged it. And I mean, really funny. I did love seeing everyone singing Silent Night and Mm -hmm. Barbara coming back. And yes. his mother, Sophie, showing up. Mm-hmm. And finding. Finally. I don't know about you, but I was not expecting her to show up in that moment. No, I was like, not what? that moment. What? Yeah. I mean, their mother just came back and now Thomas's mother is here too. What? I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I love the conversation that they all have with Sophie after the contest. And in this moment, we find out that Luke was there with Sophie when she delivered Thomas. Yeah, I thought that was kind of a neat storyline. I mean, when we first saw that, you know, Thomas had been left at the fire station, I was a little confused, like, okay, of all people, why is this mother leaving the baby with Luke? Yeah. Of all people, what is the connection here? There's got to be something. I wasn't really sure what it was going to be. I mean, I kind of figured maybe he probably helped her out somehow. Yeah. But like, I really didn't know what what it was going to be. And then when we find out that, you know, it was that, I was like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. But it's also kind of sad too that, you know, the only person in the world she could think or that she could even like imagine leaving her son with would be Luke. Like this guy, she doesn't even know. But obviously she knew he was a really great guy. Mm -hmm. She could see it from, you know, how he helped her with delivering the baby and stuff. But I, I mean, it is really sad, but I think, you know, that's one of those situations too, where that is real life. Like some people just really don't have anybody to turn to. Yeah. I thought it was sweet Christmas morning with Luke, Taylor, Stefan, and their mom. And they Mm -hmm. give her the photo of them in the elf costumes. That was so cute. That was really cute. Yeah. Oh, we missed it earlier too, but when the, the boys decided to get the ornament with Thomas's footprint on it. Yeah, I love that. That was a really sweet moment too. Yeah, and that was when Fiona shows up. Oh, that's right. That's right. At the store. And she yeah. she she looked pretty surprised. Like, okay, what? why why, why did these boys have a baby? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Stefan and Susie share their feelings for each other. That was... That was really cute. I was like, way to go, Stefan. Finally. Yeah. He, you know, I think that performance broke through to him. He realized, you know, he he can do it. He's, you know, he's not as quiet or as shy as he appears. He, you know, he could step out and he can actually make a difference and actually, you know, talk. Yeah. 
for Taylor, he goes back to the office and he makes mm-hmm. things right at work and with Fiona. And, you know, of course, David gives Taylor his job back. Mm-hmm. I have to say, I love to see Jeff. In this <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was definitely a little unexpected. I mean, I will say I saw his name on the cast list before the movie it. aired and yeah. I was like, huh I wonder who he's gonna play and then of course he had to be Taylor's boss I was like are you kidding me (laughs) yeah this is so not like this is so different from oh my gosh so different from Norman but yeah that's funny that's funny I saw his name on the cast list before too but that was awesome yeah and of course I loved seeing the other two Mm -hmm. members of the cast as well from previous episodes Mm -hmm. we see luke visiting sophie and he gives sophie the ornament yes Mm -hmm. um thomas's first foot yeah Yeah. with the footprint that was sweet Mm -hmm. that was sweet i have to say i did love the side story with the romance Mm mm-hmm yeah, I definitely like that they put that in there. I, I like that this movie was different in the fact that it was very much centered on the brothers, their relationship. Yeah. And seeing that chemistry evolve between the brothers and just seeing, you know, them get to act in that way. But I do like that there was a little bit of romance on the side, but not a ton of it because yeah. that was not the point of this movie. And But I definitely like that they still put that in there. And yeah. I, I think that it was appropriate too that we see the most stuff happen with Paul's character. I think, especially like knowing each of yeah. those brothers, I think it was appropriate. I think it was the best decision that we see that happen for Stefan because I yeah. think Stefan needed that. But it was also nice to see some reconciliation between Fiona and Taylor as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then we got a little bit of something there with Luke it's, and Sophie a little bit. Yeah. But I really like that that was more centered on the fact that Luke was, you know, willing to be there for her and help her mm-hmm. out with the baby, yeah. however she needed, and not so much about the romance part of yes. it. So I like that. I think I think that was well that well written. Yeah. Yes. Very well done. Yes. yes. And we have to mention the Christmas gathering at Luke's new home with the fire alarm. That was doorbell. That was great. That was a good touch. I like that. That And then they do the dance again. Right, of course. Well, they don't even show the full thing. They no, start they to do it, and then yeah, it they cuts. start to do it. But yeah. I, I actually like the way they ended it. I think that was that uh, was kind of a cool way to end it. Yes, I love that. Like end scene. <laughs> that was great I love that that was really funny um but yeah no I definitely like that I like how they said like this is a year later and obviously you know things had were still progressing obviously like we said like all three women were there with the guys Mm -hmm. and you just you kind of see that things are you know going good for all of them it looks like so like that's good and and you see Thomas has grown up too yes firefighter hat that was that was cute that was really cute yes yeah super cute and of course luke taylor and stefan's mom is there mm-hmm. as well as their, their aunt, aunt. Yes, yes that was nice just an all-around great movie oh yes definitely this is definitely one to watch again and again yeah for sure this movie had me in stitches the entire time mm-hmm. definitely yeah definitely i would rate it 10 out of 10 nice what about you? 10 out of 10? I think I think I already said it. 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. You know what? I'll change my <laughs> vote and I'll say 12 out of 10 because it deserves there you go. above there a 10. You go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be in my top 10 favorite Hallmark Christmas movies this year. Mm-hmm. And probably my top five because yes. Yes. it was just that good. Very well done yeah. by all, all of them. Mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. well done to all of the cast and crew i have some trivia to wrap up this episode what was the pin taylor was wearing at his work christmas party a reindeer a snowman or a christmas tree oh man i don't know what do you think hallmarkies what do you think it was what would taylor be wearing i'm gonna say I don't remember to be honest I was I was too focused on the storyline I can try to hum a tune that could give you a hint 
<laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say a reindeer. I actually was gonna say a reindeer. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Good job. What is the zip code shown on the house when Barbara was leaving for her trip to see Aunt Louise? Two one seven eight five two eight three five two two nine seven six four or two one seven seven six. Once again, I have no idea. I'm just going to defer to option two. Mm, wrong. I don't think so. <laughs> Get him good. next time, Hallmarkies. What do you guys think it is? <laughs> the answer is 21785. Okay. What is Barbara's favorite decoration that Luke and Taylor broke? A glass snowman, a glass gingerbread house, or a nutcracker? I believe it was a snowman. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Good job. Nice. <laughs> what is the prize for this Spirit of Christmas contest? A cruise, a year's supply of coffee, a Hawaiian vacation on the island of Maui, or a home renovation? <laughs> Well, I, I think all those are great options, but the boys definitely wanted to send their mom on a cruise because she'd never yes. been before. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Good job. I like the home renovation one, though. That was funny. Thank you. I mean, she needs it because she's got all of her adult sons living with her at this point anyway. Yeah. So I think she deserves that. But. Yes. As a fan of some of the home renovation shows, like yes. fixer upper i had oh, to yes. a yes. home renovation for one of the choices definitely chip and joanna would approve <laughs> yes actually i know this would not happen but i would love to see what chip and joanna could do to that house oh yes definitely i would pay to see chip and joanna Gaines design the sets for hallmark movies there we go yes let let's make it happen <laughs> Yes. They can be the set dressers, I think is what they're called. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Random side conversation there. Sorry, guys. But we both love Fixer Upper, so gotta love the games. Yes. Gotta support the games family. <laughs> Although the Brenner home is beautiful as it is, but mm -hmm. that would be awesome. It is. It is. Yes. Well, on that note, Hallmarkies, I think that wraps up our recap of the Countdown to Christmas movie, Three Wise Men and a Baby. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed and have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And we will see you next time. We love y'all. Bye. Bye, Hallmarkies.